You're watching Veg TV. I'm here with Lisa Coffey. She is a relationship expert, host of CoffeeTalk.com, and she has a new book, Closure, Law of Relationship. Lisa, this is your fifth book, and I gotta ask you, what's the law of relationship? The law of relationship is something I discovered. A law is a natural law, which means that there's a predictable sequence of events. Okay. Um, in, in the law of relationship, it says two things. One, that we're all connected, and two, that we're here to help each other learn and grow. Uh -huh. So when you think about the law of relationships, it shows you that no matter what the change in relationship is, you're gonna be okay. Because we're all connected, right. that can't change. And we're here to help each other learn and grow. That can't change. That's the predictable series of events there. So basically a change of relationship is anything, it's inevitable and, uh -huh. it's, and relationships change. That's just the nature of a relationship. So whether someone dies, which happens all the time, every day, people yeah. die, or you get a divorce, or you break up, or your children move out of the house and go to college, or get married, or your best friend moves away. Whatever happens, it helps you find the closure that you need so uh -huh. that you're okay, so that the change doesn't hurt you. Right. People will tell you all the time, move on. You need to move on. Right. But they don't tell you how to move on. Exactly. That's what this book does. It tells you how to move on and how to accept. You really need to just be able to accept what's happening, but it gives yeah. you the tools to be able to do that. Right, and the, and the way this came about is that um, my brother-in-law died. And oh. it, I, he was only 46, and my sister was just 42. And I, was, I introduced them. He was one of my best friends. Wow. And I was looking at what my sister went through with the grieving process. And I saw that closure is completely different than grieving. And I was looking at the process I went through, this was shortly after my divorce, uh -huh. that I was going through healing from the divorce. And I saw that, you know, the process my sister was going through, the process I was going through were very similar. Right. Once you're done with the grieving, how do you get closure? You know, the last step in grieving is acceptance. Well, the second step in closure is acceptance. We have first step is recognition. Uh -huh. That you're kind of aware that there's some change going on. A lot of people are just deny, 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 right? So it's recognizing that something's going on, and then it's accepting that something's going on, and then it's understanding. Understanding is the most difficult thing for people. Understanding that you may not understand. It's Say that again. <laughs> Say that again. Understanding is, is that you may not understand. Uh -huh. It may be beyond our comprehension. But the understanding is knowing that you are going through a process that you need taken care of, that you need healing. You know, how do I understand what I'm going through? Not the why of what happens, because yeah. that's sometimes impossible. You know, it could mm -hmm. have to do with a past life thing. It could have to do with, you know, karma, anything that is beyond our comprehension in mm -hmm. this life. But just understanding that you're going through something, you know? And then the fourth step is integration. How do you take the lessons learned from this relationship? Because I always say relationships do not end, they change. We carry with us the memories, the lessons learned. There's always that connection, always. There's a, we have a connection with people we haven't even met. So why would we not have a connection with someone we loved, you know, just because they leave us in some way, shape, or form? Yes. So how do you integrate the lessons you learned and the memories of that person into this change in your life now? How, how does that happen? And, um, you know, one of the best stories I heard is um, uh, Anne Curry. Who, who hosts yeah. the Today Show now. Yes. She told me that when, when her mother passed, her mother had always taught her gumbaru. And gumbaru is a Japanese word meaning never give up, always do your best, keep going no matter what. And that's the way that she kind of remembers her mother and keeps her mother with her all the time. That's so touching. Yeah. And so it's something she learned and she 
integrated into her life and I just love that you know and I think with any change in relationship there are things that we can integrate into our life that can make our life better mm -hmm. because that person was there and then the last step and this is the most important step is gratitude when you can come to a place of gratitude of saying yes it was hard yes I was hurt yes things happened yes it was terrible but I'm grateful for all of it because I'm a better person because I learned from it I wouldn't change a thing when you can get to that point of gratitude that's when you have closure and the analogy yeah. I like and this is why I have this bracelet on the cover of the book it's like our life and our relationships are like this chain all these links in a chain of the events that happened and the memories and the, the good times and the bad times and everything. And then all of a sudden, a relationship like supposedly ends. And it's like you're left dangling with this chain. What do you do with it? Well, the closure is that little clasp at the end of the bracelet where you hook one link to the other. Yeah. And now you have something beautiful and useful that you can carry with you your whole life. You carry it with you. Lisa, so, that is such a beautiful thought. So that's why such a beautiful thought. Something yeah. you can carry with you your whole life. And I'm going to be carrying this book with me, too. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you.